I never really make any notes. Any notes. I used to spend hours in video editing. What the biggest myth students believe about drop year? There was a lot of time when I can study for 24 hours. Math is less important. That's again a big thing. So so hi guys, you are watching Anand Aiderwala and I am Anand, I am a student of Aider TVM and today we will be discussing about taking a drop year, will it be worth it or not. So it would be delivered through a podcast. So I have invited a friend of mine whose name is Swarnadeep who cleared JE mains by taking a drop. He will be sharing all of his experiences during his uh, drop year and sharing his personal experiences. So just go with the podcast and enjoy and just subscribe if you have learned something from it. So hello Swarnadeep, welcome to our YouTube channel. We will be starting the podcast right now. So let's start with the first question. The first ever question is what made you to take the decision for a drop year when other people uh, don't prefer to take a drop? What was your motive behind it? Can you share with our audiences? Thank you. Thank you for your warm welcome. See, in everyone's life there is a period when he or she needs to shut down and restart. I appeared in a lot of exams but I didn't really appreciate my scores. So what I think is good college, getting admission into good college is really important. Okay, good college. That should always be your preference. Let's move on to the next question. Be honest with us. What was your daily routine during your drop year? How you convinced your parents or audience want to know? And also be honest did you make those uh, like colorful notes every uh, aspirant drop aspirant makes as usually we see on youtube did you did those things like highlighting text uh, writing uh, on colorful notes on walls you will be shocked to hear my daily routine i used to rise at around 7 am i used to study around 7 to 8 hours a day including obviously including lectures i used to watch the lectures at 1.5x or sometimes 1.8x depending on the teacher the surprising part is that i never really make any notes any notes in you say maths physical chemistry i never make any notes on that and what is more surprising is that i used to uh, i don't like to watch the physics lecture i just used to see the notes and I just started practicing questions. That's all. Yes. That's really annoying. But I didn't make notes on phys on physical chemistry and maths. But basically, I'm not going to advise anyone because I also understand notes are really important. But problem is when I'm making notes, I can't really focus on the concept. And you know, there is a physics world of feature that you can see the whole video like this class have just ended so after 30 minutes you can see the whole pd of the class so there is no meaning of making the notes if the teachers and writing is okay okay Swarnadeep, can you share with our audiences how did it feel exactly for you when you took a drop and most of your friends went to colleges like how did it feel for you personally can you share with them <laughs> that's an impressive question most of my friends uh, didn't actually went to college. Most of them stayed back. They're around same score like me. But uh, some of my friends went to college. But uh, of course, I was not jealous of them. It's really interesting from them to know about the college life, the coming challenges, to be really honest. So now come to a very important question where many drop aspirants get confused. Like, how should we study should we be uh, early riser waking up 5 a.m in the morning or a night hustler like uh, studying till 3 a.m 4 a.m like that how would you used to do it or how would you like our audiences to do it both according to the need it's not necessary that i need to study on late nights or early morning i will say both according to its need okay now another important thing distractions how would you manage distractions in your drop year like Instagram, Facebook, YouTube? How would you manage those things? This is the most difficult question. Uh, so to be really honest, I used to play video games, you know, mobile games. And I used to spend hours in video editing. And I really regret that. Honestly, I regret that. 
but no one can study for hours. I mean, I can't study for hours and hours. Like, I can't study for 13 hours a day. So, we just need a break. But I need to solve 13 question or 15 question of math. Like, I'm stuck in a question. So, I cannot give up. I need to complete all the 13. Then I will do some amount of video editing or whatever it is. Okay, so was there any day you didn't study the whole day? Not even an hour. There was a lot of time when I didn't study for 24 hours. Yes. Honestly, there was a lot of time. A lot of days. But what I think is really important is when you are studying, you need to, you need to focus on your study and vice versa. So what happened to most of the aspirants that they lose hope in the midway? Was there a moment you felt to give up completely? And uh, if there was some moments... So how you brought yourself back? Uh, no, never. I never gave up. Like I was scoring, uh, I was scoring okay, okay marks in my exams. Obviously, I'm not scoring like AI or one, but it was quite okay. So I never gave up. Okay, can you tell about what's the biggest myth students believe about drop year? So now this is the most uh, important question of this podcast. I've written Instagram post about it. I'm just reading it. Let's see. NT does not calculate the total percentile by averaging the individual subject percentile. Rather, they calculate it on the basis of total marks. So, let's take a dropper. Cuts of all his relation with mathematics and only studies physics and chemistry. And at the end of the session, he or she prepares some of the important chapter from maths. Then he or she can score 155 easily. But on the other hand, if she someone studies all the subject equally and scores 155 in the exam then it's not wrong to conclude that he or she must have done more amount of hard work the previous one because maths is more difficult you know maths is more difficult in j whether you agree with this or not but you shall agree that scoring in exam takes a lot of revision and the guy who is revising all the three subjects must have put a greater amount of hard work than the other in a nutshell, there exists a shortcut and the worst part is that our system is supporting that. Again, you're saying math is less important. That's again a big thing. So, uh, I don't know how much it's true because I was not a J aspirant. I was an IAT aspirant. Okay, I'm explaining you with the most simplest example. See, J gives you three hours and three subjects. So, uh, most of the aspirants do like 45 minutes to physics 45 minutes to chemistry and one hour and 30 minutes to maths and you know j maths is quite hard so in that one hour 30 minutes most of the aspirants like who is the most brilliant one he's going to solve for all the all the sums uh, i appreciate him but just like an average guy he can score he can solve like 12 to 14 or 6 to 8 depends on the question but if you see the most physics and chemistry papers in j mains that's quite easy i mean if you invest your same time in physics and chemistry in the exam then it will be more valuable because nt does not gives you extra marks or extra percentile if you score maths question <laughs> let's take another example let's say there are two guys a and b okay so A, what A does is he prepares all his subjects equally and what B does is he prepares only physics and chemistry and prepares only 7 to 8 important chapter of mathematics. But in case of A, there is a some, there is a some lack of time he is going to have revisions. So what he does, he focuses on maths instead of physics and chemistry. So he completes the maths revision. but left out some important chapters of physics and chemistry so in the exam he's going to regret really but on the other hand who is going to complete his physics and chemistry revision he is going to benefit it more and more mark my word but wait a moment bro this is not going to the tips for the topper guys if uh, like if in my audience someone is going to give j and he is aiming to score 98 to 99 percentile then this trick is not if you're trying to score 98 99 percentile then there is only one way work hard 
every youtuber talks about studying so i would like to ask you what was happening with you mentally emotionally and uh, how would you manage your social life in this <laughs> for this question i will say just one line both is important exercise on weekdays and fast food on weekends both is important okay so you saw many of your friends posting uh, stories of instagram about their college life have you ever felt jealous about it see these days everyone post about their life in instagram story or whatsapp status so you don't need to sneak in someone's privacy or some you don't need to stalk them but yeah it's quite interesting to know about to gain some knowledge about the upcoming struggles in your life yeah. okay so the main question did the drop year pay you off can you tell our students If you ask me to answer this question in one line, then I will say taking drop is really important for me as well as same for many other guys. So what happens is when uh, aspirants stay in a hostel, like an example, I'm giving an example of quota. So variety of water as well as food. So there are a lot of skin problems, hair problems. So when I go back in home, or uh, in two years, like. Two years or one year, so you will put. You are getting a uh, quite of heal time. I will say I will call that time for healing yourself, and that's really important. Can you say a brutally honest thing about drop year so that student get warned or get excited? If I could send one message to my youngers or any other friends, then I will say that. one paper cannot decide your future and another brutal line will say that this say pk to nta and move on okay so we will be ending the podcast here thank you swanadeep for sharing your experiences with us i hope we will be meeting again on youtube like this making a podcast another podcast about another topic so thank you for sharing your time with us goodbye for today subscribe the channel and like the video and share if you have learned something from it